All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be getting the old banana engine out of the transit. So, yesterday, I spent a little bit of time, if you can get to see, putting up some extra shelves so I had a little bit more space. And I've got a bit of a workbench down this end, which is obviously engine side of the truck. Problem I've got is the truck's so big, it literally just fits in. So that's the space I've got to work with at the front. So what I'm having to do is obviously with the doors open, luckily I've got this curtain, is push it out while I'm working on it and then push it back in of an evening. So it just means that I've got to keep it rolling. Luckily, the subframes are staying in place. Now yesterday, I've undone the, um, the gearbox mount I've just put a block of wood under the subframe for that, holding the engine up. I've undone all the ancillaries, pretty much everything except for fuel has been taken off. So it should just be, in theory, a case of engine hoist, cut the fuel lines, engine's out. Once the engine's out, hopefully I've, I've already got a buyer for that. I need to get the dashboard out, so there's a, a fair bit of work to do in this video mainly just stripping stuff down and then what i'll have to do is see what we need to rewire because the fuse box and everything's absolutely knackered as you can see um bonnets there bumpers off it lights are out header tanks out radiators already out exhausts off so i'm going to make a new one just as well as well because this has got a few little pinholes around it so I'm going to redo the, I'm going to reuse the BMW exhaust because it, I'm not bothered where it comes out. It can come out right at the, right behind the, um, the cab because it's already muffled by the turbo. So I'm not too fussed about that. So I'll get this pushed back and then you can have a look how I'm doing. Oh, it's slightly uphill this way. <laughs> All right, so you can see a little bit better now where I'm up to, and this is the space I've got to work with. So I have to open the door to get the uh, to get the engine lifted out, but that's not the end of the world. At the back, luckily because of my curtain, we're all waterproof, and I've got space to walk through and got all that room at the side. So, what I'll do, I think I'll stick it on a time lapse, get the music on and get this lifted out. So I don't mind admitting on this, I had an absolute nightmare getting this engine out. When I took the gear lever off, I thought about taking the selector fork out of the gearbox well, it was in the cab, but I just didn't bother. I thought there'd be enough space between the subframe and the tunnel to get it out at an angle. It turns out there wasn't. So if you're ever taking one of these out, make sure you do that because you cannot get this engine out with the select fork on, or I couldn't anyway. So it ended up taking me probably about an extra half hour to try and contort myself into positions because I'd got it too far forward and couldn't slide it back without risking breaking it. But once I got that section off, it came out an absolute dream. You see in a second, the sort of, the relief on me especially. So I'm now struggling to get that last bolt out. Once that's out, lift the crane up a little bit and the engine just comes out. Next up, I'm going to get it weighed. I don't mind saying that didn't do go. <laughs> I don't mind saying that didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. For anyone taking one of these out, I recommend you take the whole gear selector out. I didn't, and it was a nightmare. I ended up having to drag myself in there to sort it. Anyway, one thing I've always wanted to know since I've deliberated over doing this conversion is 
what the weight difference is between the two engines. So I've got some digital scales, they'll do up to a ton. So I'm going to weigh this and then we'll weigh the BMW engine and we'll see what sort of payload we're going to add to the truck. Two seventy, still partly on the ground. Just off the ground now. So. Three hundred and six kilos. So here's how heavy a banana engine is. Still got the power steering pump on it. Still got the alternator, starter motor, gearbox, manifold, and we're weighing in at three oh six. Right, so I've got a little bit more space in the garage now. The um, 2.5 diesel engine out the truck has now uh, gone to its new home. It's going to be living in an ice cream van, which is, uh, which is nice. Anyway, time to weigh the BMW engine. Let's see what the difference is. So let me show you my setup now. So I've got my scales on. I've got a load balancer though this time. So if you look at the scale, it is showing a little bit of weight because I've zeroed it out with the balancer on. So I'll get it on the tripod and we'll weigh this. So in hindsight, I should have had this face in the way I can see it, but I didn't. So let's start pumping. Differences between this engine and the truck is I've still got the full catalytic converter on it and I've got the downpipe on and the gearbox mount. So that's probably adding around about as much as 10 kilograms on, but I don't want to strip them off. A little light ruining my shot. There you go. So we're at 200 already and we're not off the ground. Sorry about this. We're still touching and we're at 256. We're getting close to the weight of the truck engine. The exhaust still on the ground a bit. Right, so that's completely off the ground now. So as you can see, totally off the ground. Plastic inlet manifold's not on, but we're at 259.5 kilograms. This has got all its hoses on it though. Uh, the power steering reservoir <coughs> is built onto this engine. So differences are between this engine and the 
um, truck engine, the original one, is power steering reservoir is built into this one. We've got the gearbox mount on it. We've got the exhaust right the way up to there, including the first, I don't know if that's a silencer or a cat. Got the, uh, the air conditioning on it, got the hoses, <coughs> excuse me, and the manifold, uh, and a lot of the wiring. So there was no wiring on the truck when we weighed it, or very little anyway. So I actually thought it might have been a tiny bit lighter. I was thinking maybe 220. Carrying on from the weighing of the engine, I thought I'd weigh the pedal boxes because I'm going to be using the BMW pedal box in the truck because it's got a hydraulic clutch and I don't want to start messing around modifying it and I thought keep the original pedal box obviously I've got to change to an electric accelerator pedal anyway and I'll use the BMW servo and master system master cylinder rather as well so let's get that weighed up now first thing I'll weigh this is the transit I'm going to have to add a brake switch onto the truck but Scales are zeroed out. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Bring you in. Just that pedal box there is four and a half kilograms. So we'll get the BMW on weighed now. zeroed out. BMW one's got a plastic clutch pedal, metal accelerator, uh, sorry brake and it's cast aluminium and that weighs in at 1.5 so that's another three kilograms saved just on the pedal box which is uh, good news.